Once again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Independent School District 196, we welcome you to Egan High School and to Wildcat Stadium and tonight's South Suburban Conference Boys Varsity Lacrosse game between the visiting Blades from Burnsville High School and your Egan Wildcats. The official score of tonight's game, the referee is John Day, the umpire is David Kibbe, field judge is Russ Hunt. Let's meet the starting lineups for tonight's game. First, the starting lineup for the visiting Burnsville Blaze. The goalie, senior number 18, Nick Hermstead. Attack, senior number 3, Donnie Borman. Attack, senior number 7, Max Rippentrop. Attack, junior number 8, Pierce Conrad. Defense, junior number 11, Jaden Thomas. Midfield senior number 15, Jack Holmstrom. Defense senior number 16, Jager Hahn. Midfield senior number 19, Dalton Lutz. Defense senior number 36, Ryan Sosinski. And defense senior number 52, Tristan Larson. The assistant coaches for the Blaze are Jake Senta and Robbie Beerling. The head coach of the Burnsville Blaze is Neil Pester. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our visitors to Wildcat Stadium this evening, the Burnsville Blaze. Now let's meet the starting lineup for your Egan Wildcats, starting with the goalie, junior number eight, Logan Kolaminen. Midfield, senior number three, Colby Sorensen. Attack, senior number four, Zach Jacobson. Long stick midfield, junior number 23, Nick Cannon. Attack, sophomore number 26, Tyler Hughesby. Defense, senior number 28, John Corona. Midfield, junior number 42, Pat Reinen. Defense, sophomore number 46, Griffin Johnson. Defense, sophomore number 55, Keenan Wilson. And attack, sophomore number 20, Mike DeMarcus. The Wildcat assistant coaches are Tony Matea, Matt Simpson, Aaron Propson, and Joey Gallus. The head coach of the Egan Wildcats is Bob Felter. Ladies and gentlemen, your Egan Wildcats. Welcome to the 2021 Egan Boys Lacrosse season. This is Frank Willery along with Dave Jacobson here to uh, broadcast the game. Exciting return of the uh, Wildcats after missing the 2020 uh, season due to the pandemic. We're back on the field in this beautiful stadium with uh, turf for 2021. Dave, what do you expect to, today? Uh, ready for a face off and it looks like Raymond's gonna win that 142, brings it downfield and gonna take a sh shot and misses it left, but uh, uh, I don't know what to expect. We were pretty young this year. We graduated a ton of experienced kids last year, so I'm ex I'm just happy we're playing. Okay, looks like Zach, Zach Jacobson here to uh, inbound the ball. Col Colby Sorensen has it now. Shot by um, Patrick Ryman. He had a knee injury, I think, last year's skiing, so he wouldn't have been able to play last season, but it sounds like he's recovered from it, and he's a, he's a good face-off kid, so that's a good thing to have. Yeah, absolutely. He ended up taking, uh, as, a, as a freshman, he ended up taking, I, I believe he took um, 59 face-offs um, as, as a freshman, played in nine games for okay. the Wildcats. Awesome. Colby up top. Yeah. Little swim move and a shot. 
caught by the goalie. Yeah, Colby Sorensen is the most experienced Wildcat. Again, they didn't have a season last year, but as a uh, sophomore, he had uh, five goals, five assists, and uh, five pipes, if memory serves uh, correctly, on the, on the season. But um, um, So if any other Wildcat scores besides uh, Colby, it will be their uh, first goal as a, as a Egan High School Egan. player. Awesome. All right, Burnsville's got it in their offensive end now for the first time. Egan sets up their defense. Yeah, it looks like Keenan Wilson, 55, a uh, uh, sophomore. It looks like he'll get, you know, a, a start. He's supposed to be one of the key guys on, on defense. Yep, we get a turnover on Burnsville, and Egan's going to try to press this thing and get something quick. And that's uh, Sam Simon, a, a freshman. Yep. Yep, hearing real good things on him. Yeah, making his debut for the Wildcats. Also out there, number 30, Josh Fuentes. Looks like he's headed to the sidelines right now. Number three, Colby Sorensen. We have Zach Jacobson, number four, 26, Tyler Hughesby. And number uh, 20, Mike DeMarcus. Yep, he's. Uh, I think he's a lefty that they they brought up to play this left side of the net. Looks Patrick Ryman back in, Colby Sorensen, Sam Simon. Zach Jacobson. They're being patient here. Yeah, waiting for Burnsville to get out of position. Don't force anything. Looks like Colby's looking his way to Zach. Still have control. Sam Simon to uh, Colby Sorensen. Looks like Colby's setting up to uh, take a shot here or pass it off. Back to Patrick Ryman for the shot. Um, attacks are there to maintain possession. Zach Jacobson has the, uh, has the ball right now. I think he's going to try to dodge him here. Yeah, he's got it. I think the goalie caught it, though. <laughs> oh, they cleared it out to two, so they're trying to get a break, but there's a break in the action. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, exactly. We're waiting for the uh, first goal for uh, for Egan here. It's very exciting. Very happy to be out to back and play. Looks like Burnsville has control. Looks like a defense is set. All right, Burnsville, I think, has got their second chance in the offensive zone now. We'll kind of see who the key players are. You mentioned uh, 52 on, on Burnsville, yep, Tristan, he, Tristan Larson. Larson. He's one of their good uh, uh, D players, and they're, they have a couple other guys that are been doing this for a while that are not bad. I can't remember who they are, though. Yeah, it looks like number seven, Max uh, Rippentrop. Rippentrop. He's a guy with the ball right now, and he just lost it. Nice job by Keenan, Keenan. Wilson. <laughs> this kid's got some special talent right here. Yeah, look at that. See if we can get, get it get to the attack. Set yep. up. Uh, and they lose it. They haven't oh, lost not, it yet, though. Yet. You can't let it out of there now. That's where we, when you get the ball on your end, you want to try to make clean passes so you can have a shot. Looks like number 30, Josh Zapuentes, back in at uh, midfield for Egan. What do we got? About eight minutes left in the first quarter. Looks like Griffin Johnson is one of the uh, deep holes that, that's out there too. That sounds right. Nice little dodge there, and oh, the score by goal uh, by Burnsville. Nice left, uh, nice shot. Yeah, zero one. We'll see if uh, Patrick Ryman can get the uh, next face off. Uh, as we mentioned, not not a lot of experience again, not having played last year. But there are three players. One one we mentioned, Colby Sorensen, and then. Uh, you mentioned Pat Ryman, and then uh, Zach Jacobson did play one one game as a as a sophomore a couple seasons ago against Benilde. All right, the officials are calling out something, and I'm not sure what it is. Looks like a penalty yep. on Colby Sorensen. Yep, and they're going to give back possession of the ball to uh, Burnsville. So down zero one, man down. Burnsville, 
Man down defense. Unnecessary roughness. I didn't see it, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. <laughs> Another shot right oh, zero underneath two. the goalie's uh, stick. Yep. Yeah, it looked like Luke Meyer checked in, number 37, on the man down defense. In goal for Egan, Logan Kalminen. Yeah, that was a worm burner right there. Just got by him. So Egan down 0-2 uh, to uh, to Burnsville. Egan was controlling it early. Maybe we'll get an opportunity here. Looks like uh, uh, Pat Ryman out for the faceoff again. Well, Colby's out of the box, and then we got 23 over on the, the 23 LSM. is, yeah, Nick Cannon. Yep. Nick Cannon, LSM, and uh, Colby Sorensen. At attack, Mike DeMarcus, Tyler Hughesby, and Zach Jacobson. Here we go. Oh, Raymond rips it back to <laughs> Colby, and here we go. Nice face-off win. Looks like Egan does have an op advantage on the face-off. Here goes Patrick Ryman taking the shot. A little high and a little left. <laughs> Good thing it was about lacrosse. If your attack's in the right spot, you do maintain possession. Zach Jacobson with the ball. Colby Sorensen. Colby's looking for the shot, doesn't see it. Josh Fuentes, pass to Michael DeMarcus, the left. Oh, he and lost it in there, good and job. And a goal. Yeah, hopper. Exactly. The lefty, Michael DeMarcus, making his, uh, like many of the kids, varsity debut and first goal of the season. Congratulations to Michael DeMarcus. Yeah, you make it hard on the goalie when that thing hits right in front of their feet. It's like, okay, where is it going? Yeah, now we have turf bounces with this beautiful yep, turf. Yep. Thank you, Sandra Setter, for your work involved on this beautiful facility here. Patrick Ryman, another face-off. Josh Fuentes, and also, um, is that uh, probably Nick Cannon again? Or is it Austin Clark? Could be an Austin Clark. I can't see if that's 24 or 23 on the far I think side. it's 4, 24. Okay. Uh, 24, Austin Clark. And Rain Man's ready to go here. Let's <laughs> see if we can get it. Face-offs, face of course, are of critical importance. Oh, that's going to be on us, yeah, I guess. Like Burnsville. He must have tweaked a little bit. Looks like Burnsville's number two, Henry O'Brien, taking control to uh, number 15, Jack Holstrom. Looks like he wants to take a shot. Here it goes, another one bounced in, right, hit us, hit right in front of the goalie and then hopped up over his right shoulder. Yeah, 1-3. Yep. Those offensive possessions are critical in this game. Still have seven minutes to go in the first quarter. So number 30, Josh Fuentes, uh, Patrick Ryman. And 23. Yep, Nick Cannon. Yep. Nice to have your eyesight here, Dave. Yeah, well <laughs> you can see the numbers better than I can. It's not that good, but <laughs> it's uh, without my glasses on, I can see these things kind of. Yeah, so it looks like 46 Griffin Johnson is back at deep hole along with uh, Keenan Wilson. And then um, I believe it is um, Max Corona, correct? I think so. Yeah. There we go. Rayman had it and lost it. Scoring for Burnsville, an assist to goal scored by number two, Henry O'Brien. He's unassisted. Time of the goal, first quarter, seven minutes. So they're going to redo this? Yeah, it looks like we're going to redo this. All right. Come on, Patrick. scored by Henry O'Brien, unassisted, 7.04 remaining, first quarter. Now Rayman tried to rake it back and didn't quite get it out far enough. So Burnsville ends up with it back in their offensive end. Yeah, it looks like number eight, Pierce uh, Conrath. Now number seven, Max Rippentrop. Looks like they're just going to be patient or try to set up. Main thing is for Egan's defense, don't chase them out there. Just let them let them come into you. Don't give them too much space. Looks like number 19 from Burnsville. 
Good defense there. He gives it up to, to number uh, 15, Jack Hallstrom. Burnsville is a team. They do not have a JV team. They have 20 players on, on their team, just a varsity team. But of those 20 players, 12 of them are, are seniors, so they are experienced. Yep, so they've, they've been doing this for a while. There's a nice goal, a nice uh, block. Yeah. And that's going to be... Nope, Burnsville's going to retain possession. Yeah, ni nice hustle by, by Logan there to kind of get out yep. and, and try to get us possession after after the save. Not only do you have to make a save, but um, trying to get possession back. I think they're going to try to work it to number 15 here. Well, maybe 19. Josh is doing a pretty good job staying on him. Yeah, Dalton Lutz from Burnsville looking. looking There's a ward. Yeah, ward. Yep. Which is a tough call in this sport because if you kind of put your elbow up, they're going to call you for it. Oops, we lost it and got it back. Bring it into our offensive end. Yeah, it looks like number 16, Matthew Hansen, is out on uh, out on the field. Uh, making his debut. Also, uh, number seven, Riley uh, Paulus. Yep, yep, they're there. With, with, the, with the ball. So we'll see what Matthew Hansen can do. He got Looking for an opportunity. Oh, Took a fanned, shot. Yeah, got fanned on the shot a little off. bit. Here some speed, <laughs> some speed with Burnsville. Those good, good wheels there for their so uh, deep hole here. Tried to cut him off. There we got that. Uh, this block looked like uh, Logan with it. With it, you have a clear play. Looks like Colby Sorensen. Penalty coming up on Burnsville. Miss left. Yeah. It must have been an offsides. Yeah. I heard some shouting that somewhere. It looks like, um, yeah, Sam Sam Simon, number 25, is, is out there now for the Wildcats. Yep, number 33 on uh, Burnsville was uh, offside. All right, 4.32 to go in the first period, and we're down one to three. Yeah, it looks like a good time to see the man up, man up uh, offense. I think they run the wheel, <laughs> and so we'll, uh, we'll we'll see how this we'll works. See the wheel. Look for uh, Zach Jacobson or or uh, Colby Sorensen to be the the shooters here. Forty two. Pat Pat Ryman's in with the ball. Twenty five. Sam Simon. Oops, that's a yep. pass that wasn't quite on target that's yeah. going to result in a turnover. Yeah, hopefully we can get the ball back. Hopefully get two guys on the ball. Coaching the Egan Wildcats is uh, Coach Coach uh, Felter. Um, I believe he's in his 16th season as Egan's head, head coach and was uh, Coach of the Year in 2017. Uh, 2017. Looks like number 15 from... Uh, Burnsville, Jack uh, Holstrom. We're seeing his name a lot. He's yep, yep, pretty yep. dominant player there. Good, yeah, good defense. Really good, good play. Corona, I think, got that. Needs to yeah. clear it out. Yep. Twenty-five. Sam Simon. Simon's got <laughs> yep. it. He lost it. Let's try to see if we can get it back. Couple guys on him. Colby Sorensen's trying to get him out He's of bounds. Out. Oh, I thought he was out. He yep, was out. out. Let's yeah, go. Good, yeah, nice call by the official there. Just on on top of it. Sorensen's got it now. Number three, gonna clear it up. Oops, lost it again. Yep. See if Sam Simon can get it back. Sam Simon's a uh, freshman. Yep. Colby Sorensen is the uh, captain of the Egan Wildcats. All right, a little over three minutes to go here. Yeah, Egan down one three. Looks like Burnsville's working it around. It's 15, Jack uh, Holstrom again. Looking for the opportunity. Good defense by Colby there. Yeah, pushing him out. And oh, looks nice like opportunity. We might have a chance to get that. Yep, goalie. Yep. Oh, Logan Kalminen. Nice play by Max Corona. It's coming out. I'm not sure where it's going, but it's coming out. Oops. 
Yeah, it looks like a. Oh, it's on us. Loose yeah, ball push on like, Egan. Yeah, it looks like it was a, a loose ball push on uh, Ma uh, Matthew Hansen. Looks like Luis Torres, a number 17, is okay. just uh, checked in. Yep, yep. That looks like Luis. Looks like 19 from uh, Burnsville. Dalton Lutz is looking to take a shot. Corona had good defense there's, on There's him. just nothing nothing there for Burnsville. All good right, defense. Come on, come on. There we go. It's swept out of there, and let's see who's got it. It's still up in the air. <laughs> 24 has got it on his run. Let's go. Yeah. That's uh, Austin Clark. Looks like a fast break. Uh, tax open. Oh, missed, missed Tyler Hughesby. He was, he was definitely open for, yep, the, uh, yep, for yep. the fast break goal. Yep, that sailed a little high. Egan is good on the fast breaks. It's kind of their bread and butter. They they do score on on a lot of those fast break opportunities. Pass was just a little high, but uh, good good effort. Burnsville controls. Looks like number eight, Pierce Conrath. Just a little over a minute to go here in the first period. It would be nice if Egan can uh, get the ball back and and quickly get it down. It'd be nice to just be down by by one instead of two. Looks like Burnsville's working it around. Not not a lot there right now. No 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 shots. They're they're being very very patient. Uh, looks like opportunity here. Colby cuts him off. A little bit wide right of the net on that shot. Burnsville will keep possession. One minute to go in the first period. We'll kind of see what happens here. Looks like Burnsville's uh, another number 15. He's, he's definitely looking for his shots, that, that, that's for sure. Very skilled lacrosse player. It's 15 and 19 are, are definitely their, their shooters, and, and they're definitely looking for the opportunities. Uh, good defense by Egan. Oh, missed wide right again, just about a foot right of the net. That was a nice pass by 19 from Burnsville to uh, number two across the field. Decent shot there. Oh, good defense by uh, Max. Yep. Ball's down. We got it. Let's clear it up here. Colby's got it. We've got 20, 20 seconds to try to get a shot here. Yeah, that's enough time. Oh, looks like, was that a ward? Upcoming penalty on Egan as well. Looks like our man down defense is getting set. Looks like a uh, conduct penalty on number three, Colby Sorensen. 30 seconds. Oh, he got it in very deep to number seven there. That was a great play. We lost uh, we lost him on, on the defense. Yeah, it looks like number seven, uh, Max uh, Rippentrop. Yeah, nice passing by, by Burnsville, kind of get that um, back-breaking goal. Yep, right in the... Right, right before the quarter. Right on the doorstep. Yeah, only five seconds left. Well, the thing about lacrosse is um, it's a long game, and, and uh, we still have plenty of time to uh, to come back, especially yep. if we can, you know, kind of continue to do well on the on the faceoffs. Look at this handsome guy in front of us, <laughs> Eric Knudsen. <laughs> He's in the house. Decent crowd on hand. This is uh, great to see. Yep. I, I wasn't expecting a crowd of this size for the weather. We got the face off. Face off the time win. is going to be done. Shoot. Oh. <laughs> Just sail yeah, away. So tried. Nice face off win. We have won the face offs, and we've had time of possession has been close. Yeah. Uh, we just haven't put enough shots on the net. Yeah, I think Egan just looks a little bit tight. Maybe we can settle down, and not to be expected. Again, just remember, none of the players were, you know, had a 
varsity or JV season, and a lot of the seniors would have gotten experience. Just to give kind of a breakdown on, on Egan, it looks like we do have um, on the team, we do have you know nine seniors, uh, eight juniors, five sophomores, and, and, and two freshmen. And so, again, it's it's uh, definitely have some some you know kind of different levels of grades. Like I said, we had you know three players that had you know some level of varsity experience, and and uh, but now again after a, after a quarter we have a, we have a lot more. Kind of give some background. Um, as I mentioned, uh, Coach Felter, 16 seasons at Egan as the head coach, coach of the year in 2017. Tony Matea, he coaches the the defense, assistant uh, coach of the year in 2019. And then uh, new to the, the varsity staff is Kyle Sturgeon. Uh, he was an assistant coach at Lakeville North last year, but a former Egan player who's you know adding a lot of um, new uh, you know offensive plays. I, I know clear plays and, and offensive sets and and kind of a welcome uh, addition to the to the staff. But again, we're it, at some level we're we're back. Kind of a you know kind of a shout out now to the you know anyone who's uh, from the class of. 2020 listening we're you know happy to have you listening and hopefully that you know it's exciting to kind of see lacrosse uh coming back and coming back on this um like i said this beautiful turf field this is my my first visit here but dave what do you think egan needs to do in the in the second quarter here uh you know so we're winning face-offs which is great um we're getting the ball in our offensive zone we are we've had a few penalties maybe three or four uh that aren't helping and then we got to get the ball on that. You know, the shot's got to be on net. We got to score. Uh, I would guess time is very equal in the offensive end, is what I think. I'm not timing it, but I'm guessing it's really close. Yeah, that's correct. And and uh, like I said, it's sometimes making that uh, maybe higher risk, higher reward um, pass and, and trying to get something on the goal step. Uh, there was, you know, a goal, first, you know, goal of the season for Egan, uh, Mike DeMarcus. From, yep. uh, nice one hopper. Yeah, right up. Absolutely. So. Congratulations to him for getting that first goal. So, so we'll see. Yeah, you can see that you know Burnsville's um, they're they're relying heavily on the on the seniors that they do have yep. on, on the team, and not not surprised. It looks like they've they've uh, been playing together for for a while. We'll see if um, see if anybody. So there's another flag. They just it must be a stick violation here. They're, the officials just threw a flag, so I I have no idea who that's on. Oh, so somebody didn't have a mouth guard. That's our guy, isn't it? I don't I don't think we have a 36. So I'm gonna guess it's on. Okay, Burnsville player didn't have a mouth guard in, so I think I, I guess it is going to face off without, without they're not going to have a guy. We don't have a guy either over on the other left side. Yeah, I see one guy from Burnsville kneeling down, and um, it looks like there's some, oh, it looks like there's a penalty on, on Egan as well. I see one player kneeling there, number 28. All right, here we go. Patrick Ryman's ready to clamp this thing. He'll have to get this himself with uh, with all the penalties here, but Patrick can do that. Yep, somebody did something wrong, and it's not us this time. Yeah, looks like we're go we're going to uh, get it. It's Austin Clark checks out. Raman gets a touch, and we're on the offensive end. Let's move it around. Looks to Michael Demarcus. Looks like to uh, Zach Jacobson. He's going to go for the dodge. That goalie caught that one right at the top point of the shot. Here comes the pass. It's on target to seven. Yeah. No fast break opportunities here. It looks like at this point, I believe Burnsville is, are they man? It looks like they're man up right now. Need 
new man coming in 15 Ooh, down low it's right low. back into their score zone is where it, that's yeah. right where they got the last one nice slide by by keenan wilson to uh prevent the prevent a shot up at the crease there oh nice nice defensive play it looks like that was number number 23 oh, for there's egan. a turnover bad pass from seven to eight and egan gets possession Keenan's going to bring it in. Yeah, there's a nice play by Nick Cannon there, too. Yep. It looked like a Burnsville guy was taking a shot when he when he uh, should have passed it to the attack down low, but good play for Egan. Uh, Luke Meyer now with, yep. with, with the ball. Man's got it. Oh, gosh. Too many guys. Too many Could times get it here. giving it back to him. Oh. It's still on the ground. Oh, Burnsville comes up with it. Oh, oh turns it over, far. though. Yep. Yeah, it looks like Luke Meyer is uh, checked in for the uh, defensive crew. Still have uh, Keenan. Colby's got the ball now. I'm sure he's going to clear it himself. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, a little confusion here. You need to have three guys in the offensive zone here. I think they've got it set now. Yeah. Look like Colby Sorensen moved to the offensive side. Looks like Burnsville's number eight. Burnsville's exhibiting some patience up up four to one. Still not no uh, shot for Burnsville number two number nineteen. Oh, nice play. Back, uh, Keenan Wilson again, now number 24. Uh, push on us, yep. yep. Yeah, it looked like Austin Clark was going to go down for another fast break. That could be close, and we're going to get yes. the goalie out yeah, of the nice net. Hustle. Nice job. Logan, Logan uh, call mine in oh, there. Now there's hustle. another penalty, so there's something going on. It looks like number three, Colby Sorensen, will bring the ball up. Should get a free clear here, if I'm not mistaken. Here he, it looks pretty free. He's... <laughs> He's coming. Okay, good good opportunity with our man up offense. Looks like uh, Pat Ryman and Sam Simon and uh, Colby Sorensen, Mike DeMarcus, Tyler Hughesby, and uh, Zach Jacobson. I'm going to predict a Pat Ryman goal here. Oops, mm -hmm. not a turnover. We're okay. Yeah, we're Oops. okay. Should get it. Uh, help them out. Oh, my. They beat us to that loose, loose ball there. I think it's going to be a push, though. Yep. Got to get the loose balls. Those are so crucial. Oh, nice pass. Another. Sh oh. Oh, it hit the post. Yeah, crease violation, but nice opportunity. Nice, nice opportunity by uh, Michael DeMarcus. Yeah, it looks like number 15 for, for uh, Burnsville continues to be the man, Jack Hallstrom. Little bit of patience for Burnsville as they swing it around around back. Luke Meyer in good position. We'll see um, kind of 15 and 19. That, that seems to be the two, two key um players 15 Jack Hallstrom not seeing anything to his liking so they're going to swing it around Burnsville doesn't have a lot of depth but they uh, they do have some nice players at the yep. at the top of their lineup yep eight tries to spin out of there and rolls a low a low yeah. heater, and I think it went in. Yeah, Pierce. Yep, they did. Yeah, Pierce Conrath was was kind of a nice, uh, nice dodge and a, kind of a nice low low shot there. Um, looks like a 
Looks like um, Riley Paulus is out to uh, number seven to take uh, the, this uh, face off here. Okay. Egan down um, one, one five. One five. Just not we're not just not getting enough shots. We haven't had very many shots in the whole game. I don't think we've had like five of them. Yeah. Just yeah. Exactly. Austin Clark also there and um, Colby Sorensen. Riley had it, but I don't know if he's going to get no, it. He, he got it. it. Good yep. job. One for one. Hundred percent, Riley. Nice job. Goes Zach Jacobson with the dodge. Oh, oh nice off shot! Off the top uh, of the yeah. pole, <laughs> yeah. the pipe there. Yeah, I thought that was in for sure. Nice, nice dodge, and um, uh, you know, just good. He got the shot that he wanted. Mike DeMarcus swinging it to Josta Fuentes. Number 16, Matthew Hansen. And now Colby Sorensen. He rolled it. And that's it went in. in. Good yep. job. Yeah, that's what you yep. expect. Uh, your team captain getting a getting a critical goal to um, kind of bring you within within three. Now uh, hopefully we can get the face-off win and get a fast break goal on the way. It looks like uh, Riley Paulus out there for the um, for the face-off. It'd be nice if the net slid up when the <laughs> ball went in because it's hard to see it once it's crawling on the ground. Absolutely. Just like with a golf ball, it's hard to see where that thing's going. Plus it's when you're doing the call, you don't want to say goal yeah. if there's not a goal. No, but, yeah. but yeah, sorry for the delayed call, but we wanted to make sure it was in. Uh, number 24 uh, uh, looks like Austin Clark is, is the uh, LSM. Riley Paulus on the faceoff, and Josh Fuentes with the ball right now. Josh Fuentes looking, looking for the fast break. Zach Jacobson, good ground ball there. <laughs> it's hard to see where the out of bounds is. I think the players are, are having some trouble too, but we're we are in inbounds. Good move, good dodge. Yeah, uh, they called uh, the ward, ward though. That's a tough rule that mm -hmm. I don't quite understand, but. Tyler Hughesby trying to run him out. Oh, nice play, Tyler. Oh, it's off. There we go. Yeah. Good job. Sacrificing Ty his body. Tyler Hughesby. Nice. Got the crowd into that. Penalty coming up on Burnsville. Oh, nice pass from Zach Jacobson to Tyler Hughesby. I think it's another flag. There's at least two of them on. Yeah. On, I think both of them are on Burnsville. Yeah, could could get uh, a nice man up opportunity and good good chance to uh, eat into this uh, lead of Burnsville, make it a little bit closer game. Yep, it's just under seven minutes to go in the second period. So I believe, yeah, Pat Ryman uh, comes in on the man up. Sam Simon, usually see Colby Sorensen, and then the usual attacks. All right, they're just about set. Yeah, two two loose ball pushes it looks like. No, Colby Sorensen with the ball. Pat Ryman takes the shot. Hit the goalie right in the stick. <laughs> yep. Hard. They could put the thing on their feet. <laughs> that seems like yeah. that's the toughest spot for them to defend. Here's a Hail Mary, which looks like it's going out of bounds. And it does. So yep, definitely. Possession back to Egan. We'll get it back. So we have, yeah, looks like Max Corona, Keenan Wilson. Colby Sorensen with the ball. And it looks like Griffin Johnson's in, in uh, that I deep hole as well. just misses him, but Keenan should be able to make this thing happen. Yeah. He's got it. Yep. Look, look over, look over. There's the balls down. Penalty's over. Nice ground ball by Burnsville there. Yeah, there's an element of yep. lacrosse where sometimes who wants it more. Oh, oh nice save early. by Logan Colminen. Don't want to be giving up opportunities there, but uh, goalie really stepped up and made a fantastic save. Yep, yep that was very nice. 
Do another shot. Yeah. Wide. Yeah, high wide. And wide. <laughs> yeah, about 5.50 left to go in the second quarter. At 15, Jack Hallstrom. Up high. Can't see who has the ball. I'm going to guess it's number 19, <laughs> Dalton Lutz. Yeah, he's a good, good player. Yep. And then they do that pass across to two. He's got a nice shot. Oh, another Ooh, nice, nice, nice save nice by spot. Logan. Another Cole return Miner. back. That, that one's uh, – that was a nice re rebound for them for sure. I don't think he was in the crease. I'm not sure if they called the goal or not. They haven't scored the goal yet. Yep, there they did, 6-2. to two. Yeah, it looks like number eight, Pierce Conrath, scored for um, Burnsville. That was a beautiful rebound uh, put back. Are we getting some questions here, Dave? Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, we do appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in. It looks, like one of, it looks like one of the questions was from, or one of the uh, comments was from uh, Jack Stone. Jack, glad you're listening. Hope things are going well for you at Lewis University. Must be a timeout here. It looks like two penalties on the Wildcats here. Huh. Yeah, it looks like uh, two penalties be kind of tough with with uh, four down. Looks like uh, Coach Felter called the timeout just to uh, kind of get his uh, guys settled down and and kind of focused on the on the game again. But when we come out of this, when we come out of this, uh, when we come out of the timeout, um, we will be down two, which be make it a little bit tougher for for for, for Egan. And for Burnsville, you'll have to guard uh, 19, <laughs> 15, and uh, and number two are all uh, yep. fantastic players. And you know when you're two down, one of them's going to have an open shot. So uh, it looks like Logan uh, Colmine will will continue to get tested. Um, he's been hot, you know, make, coming off a, a couple of ni ni nice nice uh, saves. But again, it's uh, the thing about lacrosse is it's a it's a big goal to d to defend. So it seems like maybe just, you know, getting, I mean, a, a lot of it is sometimes lacrosse not being, it, it can be a very beautiful sport when you're passing it and whipping it around and trying to get the fast break goals. But sometimes, you know, just helping your team is just digging deep and getting a ground ball. And it looks like that's kind of what would, would help Egan is just sort of the focus on the, on the ground balls just to get more um, possessions and just to uh, enjoy it. We'll see if we can't get on a, on a little run after we uh, kill off this penalty, hopefully. We're way behind and or we're way ahead in penalties uh, <laughs> called for sure. I can tell you that. Right. And I wasn't able to see what happened there. I mean, Keenan got called for one, and he's a big kid, so it seems like every time he runs into somebody, they call him. But I didn't see if it was anything bad or not. Right. They break out of the timeout with a little bit over five minutes to go. Egan down four. Need to keep this thing at at as close as possible yeah kids if you want to get playing time on the varsity team be a deep hole you can be a lsm or or a standing deep hole and in the situations you'll, you'll you'll see a lot but it looks like we have uh, three deep holes and then there's a, a short stick would be uh looks like matthew hansen number 16 is victor in at goal now i can't tell what number is vic one uh no victor is 47 okay And yes, I think that is Victor in goal now. There's a shot that got blocked that we need to get, and we're not getting it, but it didn't oh, quite didn't come roll, back to roll the far enough. midfield. It was close, but they oh. called something, and <laughs> Someone, I don't know what yeah, it was. No, they stepped out. Oh, yeah, they stepped over the line. 
Well, Col Colby Sorensen, you have some time to kill here. <laughs> nice uh, dodge, roll dodge there by Sorensen. But the man down, it's uh, we, we don't need to be in a hurry here. It's kind of just playing keep away at this point. Yeah, Victor Hank, uh, senior goaltender in, in for the so Wildcats. So that just happened, I think, that change. Yep. Victor Hank is a, um, also played a hockey goaltender. Uh, he was on the varsity team this past season. Oh, nice pass. Michael DeMarcus and with it's the in goal. There. Oh, it hit something. There's a penalty coming. I think it's a goal and a flag came out as well. Yeah, nice pass from uh, Colby Sorensen to Michael DeMarcus. Uh, so the lefty's got two already. One, one more for the hat trick for for uh, Michael DeMarcus, but beautiful pass by uh, Colby Sorensen there. Yeah, the flag came out, I don't know what for. So it looks like three to six now. Uh, Riley Paulison for the for the face off. He's two for two, isn't he? Yeah. Yep. Keep it going, Riley. Number 23, Nick, Nick Cannon was the LSM. Oh, they got Colby playing uh, attack right now. Yeah, we're a man. I think it's uh, offsetting penalties okay. right now. So Colby will be there till the uh, attack comes back on. All right, let's see how this goes. Rally and Nick Cannon. Well, he clamped it again, flipped it back to hopefully himself, and he got it. Needs to get out of there. Oh, he got crushed, and that's going to be a push. Yep. Oh, go Zach. Zach Jacobson with the ball. That's a good ground ball there. He's got a couple of them from the attack position. Good dodge. And, oh, I thought that was going to go in. Nice, nice opportunity there. Good hustle by Matthew Hansen to get uh, close to it to maintain possession. And there's some penalty going on here, isn't there? No. Yep. There was some uh, flag thrown. I'm not sure if it was, what it was for. I believe the flag was uh, for Riley Paulus, but we had possession, so um, off the face off. So it looks like man up offense, Patrick Ryman, Colby Sorensen, Sam Simon. Looks like Mike DeMarcus, Zach Jacobson. It's five on four, it's like hockey. <laughs> Uh, looks like Egan's going to call timeout here with uh, 3.35 left to go in the second period. Yeah, important if you can, uh, down 3.6, if you can uh, get the opportunity that you want, you can uh, uh, cut the lead and, and kind of get within in, in two if all, all goes well. Yeah, we're right with them. This is, this is doable. Right. Kind of a chilly night here, but it um, seems like people are in the mood for lacrosse. It's, it's uh, again... Uh, people are maintaining their social distance as they as they should, uh, given the, the pandemic. And and uh, but it looks like it is like I said, people are, are starved for lacrosse, coming out even in the cold weather to uh, cheer the Egan Wildcats on. Um, hopefully, we can uh, make this a little bit closer. Go from down three to down two on this uh, man up. We do have the experience out there to do that. Look for you know either um, you know the three players that did have some previous experience in two seasons ago in 2019, but look for Zach Jacobson, Colby Sorensen, or, or, or Pat Ryman for an opportunity uh, here. Or it could be Mike DeMarcus. He's been hot today, so yep. maybe they can uh, feed him by on, on the uh, crease and he can continue to uh, knock in goals from there. Yeah, our team's actually pretty young um, based on all the changes we've had. DeMarcus, how old is he? He's a sophomore. Okay, yep. So there's a bunch of sophomores playing uh, – a bunch of minutes right now, which is awesome. Yeah, because uh, Keenan uh, Keenan Wilson is a, uh, a sophomore, as is um, as is um, Tyler Ty yep. Tyler Hughesby is a senior yep. as, or a sophomore as yep. well. As, yep. as twenty six. Yep. And then uh, even on this uh, man up with with uh, Sam Simon, he's yep. a he's a freshman. freshman. Yep. 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 That's awesome. We go. It looks like we're gonna bring it in. 
Colby's got it up top. A little high on the pass, but we still have maintain possession. possession. Colby's going to wing it. <laughs> high and right, I think. I couldn't yeah. really tell, but based on where the goalie went, I think that's what it was. Another one coming. Boom. Goalie stopped it. Yeah. He stopped a bunch of them. That one is his feet. Here comes the loft, and it's a bad pass. Almost picked off. Now it's picked off. Yeah, that was uh, Luke Meyer that yep. uh, picked that one off. Now with Colby Sorensen. Yeah, nice to Zach Jacobson. Maintains possession. He could roll the cage here. It's, it's open if he wants it. Yeah, nice out. Nice High try. gonna be. I think they're gonna have possession too. Yep, they beat us to it. Both of the poles had their sticks out there. Here it comes, and it's a hopper. Trying not to let him out of there, but he's got it seven with possession for Burnsville. It looks like Burnsville's going to be be patient here. It's only a matter of time before they throw it up to uh, 15 or 19. 19 with it. Nineteen is uh, Dalton Lutz, and fifteen is Jack Hallstrom. Yep, yep, both very good players. Yep. Good defense. Keep they do like to do that pass across to two, and he, he does have a nice shot, and he does have a goal from earlier today. Two is uh, Henry O'Brien. Wide left. Mm -hmm. That's going to be black ball, Burnsville's ball. I got that right. See up, yeah, they're a uh, minute 42, so they can be patient if they want to be. Yeah, 19, 2, and 15 are their definitely their key players, and, and also uh, 8, who has the ball right now. Eight Good is uh, Pierce Conrath. Yep, defense was good. Oh, he just about had a pick there. there we now go. we got it. Now he lost it. <laughs> now we got yeah. it. No, nope, he got it back. <laughs> Little 19. Yeah, 19. Dalton Lutz uh, was, was able to uh, get that ground ball. Pressure's on the, on the defense. Definitely. Colby with a nice ride, pushing him out of the middle. Yeah, they won't take it if it's not there, but they, they are definitely looking looking for their opportunities here. Try to roll the cage. Oh, versus. There's 15. Yeah, they're on in the shots now. They've had a bunch here. Yeah, pretty good passing uh, back, and you can you can tell they're they're looking for their opportunities. And so, Looks uh, timeout, Burnsville. Yeah, kind of smart timeout by Burnsville. It seemed like uh, some of their key guys were getting tired, and with 30 seconds left, um, you know, again, if you can get uh, a, a goal, kind of one of those back-breaking goals right before half, that that's uh, probably um, probably what they're looking to do. For Egan, it's to um, try to um, obviously stop them and and you know maybe maybe initiate a fast break the other way. But um, down three to six, um, fairly low scoring game for, for lacrosse at, yep. at this point. So they got Colby's stick right now that they're testing to make sure it's not <laughs> in violation mode. So I'm sure the stick is legal. He's just a talented lacrosse player. Just looks like he has an illegal stick. Yep, no, they're checking it out. I haven't seen a flag come out here yet. So <laughs> now do they did they pick an opposite the opposite team every Timeout, or how do they decide? I, I, yeah, I don't. I don't remember do anymore. Ever since we lost that year of lacrosse, I mean, my lay out, my lacrosse knowledge is dated. But you can see that they are doing it, um, and and they are alternating the teams. But yep. um, no, it's going to be flag free, so that's a good thing. Yeah. No. Absolutely. And so, oh, it'd be nice and. You know, we'll see, you know, again, it's been 
you know, been able to see both goalies for, for Egan or Logan Kalmainen getting the, the, the start. And, and now um, Victor Hank is, is, is in there with, with his opportunity as, as, as well. I would expect you're probably going to see both of them as, as the um, year goes on here. Yeah, we haven't had any bounces go our way at all. We've had basically no good luck yet <laughs> in this game. Still a second half and still yep. battling. And like I said, uh, I got to think the shots on goal are way lopsided. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah, I think so too. I mean, I think it's way bad. Yep. So just 30 seconds to go here, and we'll be at halftime, which is probably 10 minutes, I'm thinking. Yeah, 10 minutes. So we'll uh, be able to take a little bit of a break. But um, I'm glad everybody's uh, listening and glad everyone's tuned in. Great to be back and, and watching lacrosse after a year off. Yep, thanks to e Egan TV for doing all this stuff. This is awesome. Yeah, thank you. little spin up top. Trying to push him out of the middle. He's close. Went off yeah. Vic's uh, <laughs> stick. It didn't hit him in the basket, but it hit something. Yeah. Ten seconds. They're trying to 19, get another shot. 19 Dalton looks. Oh, Vic with a great stop there. Yeah, nice job. Not sure that we can do anything with five seconds. He might just, yeah, just hang on to it. Yeah. Yep, that's there actually go. a really good uh, really good way to end the half. I yeah. mean, they had, they had multiple shots on us, like eight, maybe ten in the last <laughs> two minutes. And we, yeah. we hung in there. Yeah, being down three would be uh, more problematic in the game of hockey, but um, in lacrosse with um, the face-offs and fast break opportunities, you can actually get three goals in a, in a hurry. Yep. The varsity games are very long games, so there's uh, plenty of time and plenty of opportunity to, to get back in it. You know, main thing will be controlling Burnsville's seniors, and, and uh, like I said, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to uh, – make some progress here in the second half. But we'll uh, sign off for a little bit. And like I said, Frank Willery and Dave Jacobson uh, broadcasting for um, Egan High School Boys uh, Lacrosse Over. 2021.
Right, so that's that's north and that's south, right? Yep, yep, we're back, we're back, we're live in Frank Willery, Dave Jacobson, voices so, of uh, the Egan. 2021 Egan Boys Lacrosse. You're stuck with us. <laughs> So yep. we're defending the south goal right now, and Victor Hank is our goalie at this point. And uh, let's see who's facing off here. It's Riley. It's Riley. Riley Paulus, number seven, uh, sophomore. Riley He's gets it to Colby Sorensen. Comes out with it. Nice job, Riley. Colby gets a touch, and the ball is, is ours now. We need to. Uh, Pat Ryman, 42. And Sam Simon, uh, 25. Midfielders attacks uh, Tyler Hughes, B26. Mike DeMarcus, number 20, with two goals so far. And Zach Jacobson, who's might get one right here. Uh, not to his liking. Good control there. If it's not there, you don't take it. Maintain possession. It's close. You will get it at some point. Uh, Colby Sorensen with the dodge. Oh, a little bit of a bad a pass. It's going to yeah, be out of bounds. That's a yeah, turnover. Yeah, that, that's what you can't have is, yep. is the uh, the turnovers. You need to get a, a quality shot there. If you get a quality shot and the goalie saves it, so be it. But you don't want to get possession when you're when you're down by three. It's our number 15, Jack Hallstrom. Very talented lacrosse player for Burnsville. Uh, to number two, uh, Henry O'Brien. And uh, you also see number 19, Dalton Lutz, um, and number um, number eight, Pierce Conrath. They're kind of the key guys on, on Burnsville. They do possess it a lot, and they, they kind of look look to see if a defender's out of position to take advantage. Um, Egan doing a nice job on defense so far uh, in this game. Number two, Henry Henry O'Brien with the ball for Burnsville. Oh, oh did, nice did have some separation, yep, but missed, a, missed the shot. Yeah, he had a nice screen. The ball came out way before he wanted it to on that yeah, shot. Yeah, not, not what he wanted to <laughs> do. Yeah. Well, look at number eight, uh, Pierce Conrath now with the ball. He might roll the cage. He looks to kind of score the ones in close. Little one hopper. Yeah, number two, Henry O'Brien. Uh, 19 is uh, Dalton Lutz. Probably their top player. He 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 looks really good. Yep, yep. No, I would agree. Oh, he's down and up. And <laughs> yeah, down. nice defense by Egan. <laughs> Just can't come up with the ground ball yet. Egan D. Keenan Wilson. Looks like uh, Max Corona, number 28. And it looked like it was uh, Griffin Johnson. Oh, a nice 46. job by Victor Hank. <laughs> Not only blocked it, but he got a great. Uh, he uh, got it back in the goal. Nice job, he's Victor. He's going to clear it here, and it's going to be a little bit high. But oh, we he's got, got it. it. Yeah, it's Colby. All right. That's who we want to bring it up. No fast break opportunities here, so just get a touch and set it up. Zach Jacobson attacking up from up top, looking for. Michael DeMarcus, give and go. Uh, miss, miss the pass back to him. Again, not the Don't let him out. Yeah. They're going to be right back on offense again. Yeah, it looks like number number two, Henry O'Brien, Burnsville. Oh. I don't know where the ball is, but yeah, it, it looks like the score. defenseman's deep hole stopped it. Penalty or something. They're calling something here. Looks like number 16, Matt Hansen, is out there for Egan, along with number three, Colby Sorensen, and number 24, uh, Austin Clark, uh, a freshman, another freshman, number yep. 24. Yep. Well, that's a good problem to have. Yeah. I don't think Vic's given up a goal yet, has he? Yeah, I don't want to jinx him, but no, <laughs> no. so far so good. <laughs> it's a lot to ask in lacrosse. No, so <laughs> About awesome. half of them go in, yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, Vic's doing a yeah, Victor's doing a nice job. Victor's quite an athlete. He picked up hockey really late and ended up being a varsity goaltender. Yep. So uh, credit to to him. 
Number 15, Jack Hallstrom with the with the ball. Looks like a penalty coming up on um, Max Corona, who's John Corona in the program for some reason. Yep, another shot blocked by Vic. Yeah, you can really see what Burnsville's trying to do. It, it's it's um, 19 Dalton Lutz, 15 Jack Hallstrom. They they attack from up top. Sometimes they'll pass it across to number two Henry O'Brien, who's got a nice uh, catch and, and 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 release. And then they'll attack down low with number number eight Pierce Conrath. You'll probably see a lot of that those players on on uh, as, as we as we go through here. Egan man down again, but uh, ground ball opportunity. Now you have to get back into position. Another nice save by the Hurricane Hank. Yep. <laughs> He's hot. Yeah, I'm not sure we're getting the gonna... goaltending we want. Now we just have to make sure we're getting some shots on the other side. Keenan Wilson with the ball to uh, Luke Meyer. Now you got to clear this thing and get it out of there. Number 37 is Luke Meyer, Jr. 37 is like a family number for the Meyers. I believe Colin, that was his hockey number. Older brother right, at St. Thomas now. Zach now. Jacobson. Zach Jacobson, nice pass down low. Uh, it was to Michael DeMarcus. Uh, they oh. give it to Egan. <laughs> we'll take that call. <laughs> So Michael DeMarcus with the ball right now. Uh, pass to, oh, Colby Sorensen off the goalie's foot. Nice save by the Burnsville goaltender. Tyler Hughesby trying to run him out. And Zach Jacobson trying to run him out. Uh, we are... <laughs> oh, Keenan Wilson um, playing good defense. Burnsville main, maintaining possession. They were towing that, towing the line, but did not not step over. Roughs right there. Oh, there's a flag. I'm not sure what it is. Somebody's definitely on again. Egan. <laughs> you don't want to do that when you're down by three. So 5.51 uh, remaining in the uh, third quarter. Uh, no scoring at all. In the quarter. Looks like a penalty upcoming. So Luke Mann? Yeah, it looks like Luke Meyer, number 37, I think. He could be going off. Yep, he's off. Uh, yep, taking a knee there. He's in the box. <laughs> if you want to get some playing time, be on the man down defense for Egan. He'll, you'll, you'll get out there. <laughs> Looks like we have uh, 23 Nick Cannon uh, in in the game, and 24 Austin Clark. This will get easier as the season goes on. To uh, <laughs> oh, oh goal nice by Burnsville. Skirner, uh, nice yeah. warm burner. That's yeah. all right. Vic knew it too. Yeah, number two Henry O'Brien. I know that. I know he's. I uh, believe that's his second for for today. Nice shot on the on the man up. Nothing you can do about it now, uh, except for uh, try to get it back. It's so Riley Paulus on the, on the uh, out for the face off. Colby Sorensen uh, remains remains on the field, and it looks like uh, 24 Austin Austin Clark is the LSM for um, Long Stick Mitty. Nice job Colby's by Riley. Colby Sorensen with with the ball. Die. Shot by Colby Sorensen. Right to him and he caught it.
Oh, oh nice. Mary number up two, yeah. Two, yep. Oh, down low to eight. Oh, oh that wasn't. Fortunately, that did not. Uh, that did not uh, uh, go towards the goal. That was a little bit wide. Uh, fortunate bounce for Egan. Uh, need to set up on the D. Another wide shot. Burnsville maintains possession. We need a stop here and a in a fast break the other way. Matthew Hansen applying the um, defense there. Uh, Colby Sorensen. Colby continues to be a warrior out there. Team captain, as we've said before. Oh, 15 got right on the doorstep. Yeah. Seeing Burnsville get some better chances here. Victor's been, you know, holding tough here. He's done great. Here comes another shot. Jack they Holstrom again and the goal. Top right. Yeah. As as a you know, and it would be fifteen. Uh, Jack Holstrom un unassisted. As we've been kind of singing his praises as as uh, kind of fans of, of Egan, but you you do have to tip your 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 cap to when you see some um, good good talented play on on the other team. But but certainly Jack Holstrom, who scored that last goal, definitely is is a very talented lacrosse player. Has both the right and left hand. You could tell that he has has a lot of skill for for the game. Looks like twenty five. Sam Simon. Uh, 24, Austin Clark, and uh, Riley Paulus taking the faceoff. Riley's hot. <laughs> Riley, <laughs> Riley got another faceoff win. Oh, Matthew Hansen with the ball. A uh, low pass there to Sam Simon. Freshman Sam Simon. Let's see if we can work it down low. Tyler Hughesby. Zach Jacobson. Pat Ryman. Looks like Pat's going to want to take this shot. Yep, just hopefully he can get in a little bit closer to the net. Yep. Got by. Oh. Yep. Oh, there's a flag, too. It must be on his behavior. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be conduct on 42. Yep. I personally didn't think that was a ward. <laughs> I looked like he had the arm up uh, by the side. 32nd uh, uh, conduct on 42. So Egan goes man down again. Yeah, I think shots are getting pretty lopsided here, Dave. Yep, yep no, we're not getting any... Uh, I guess we're getting a clarification that um, that the bull dodge used to be legal, but it's considered a ward now. So that, mm -hmm. that was my confusion. My my rules are a little dated, and, and uh, I thought that was a good play. But um, and, uh, Burnsville goal. Got another one. I didn't quite see that one go in, but it was a good shot. Yeah, when you're playing this much man down, it's it's – when you're man down against some skilled seniors, it, it, it can be tough, and I think we're just in that situation a little bit too much. You know, we are getting the, the face-offs, which is a big advantage, but we do need to make sure that we're, we're, we're getting some, some shots. Uh, Riley Paulison, uh, Colby Sorensen, and it looks like 24, Austin, Austin Clark as, at the uh, middies. So we have... So it looks like we have Luke Meyer at, at D. It looks like um, uh, Eric Walzer, number yep. number forty nine, looks like he's in in at uh, playing some some D pole. 
Ah, we're going to lose another. Well, we might get the ground ball here. Here goes Colby Sorensen. Nice pass in. Uh, oh. Right, right into his basket. Yeah, that's the. It was a nice pass by Colby Sorensen into, into Tyler Hughesby. Egan down three to nine. It's going to be a little bit uh, tougher from from here. It's like number eight, Pierce Conrath, with the ball for Burnsville. Number eleven, Jaden Homewuth. Fifteen, Jack Hallstrom. Trying to dodge between a few. Good defense there by Egan. Oh, Penalty. The flag down. Probably on us again. Yeah. Egan Kid just ran off the field. And yeah, it looks like uh, Eric Walzer, yep. number 49, making his varsity debut today. Like pretty much everyone, but uh, Colby. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there was a slash there. Oh, they're point blank again. Vic, good job. Yeah, it was a nice save. Yeah, Victor had a nice save against Max Rip, uh, Rippentrop. Yep, another one coming here. Got yeah. that one over his left shoulder, though. That was yeah. right high and tight yeah getting um starting to go burnsville's way here 141 left in the period three um wildcats three and the uh plays with nine All right, back to the face-off. Yep, Riley Paulus. Riley's um, been been on a nice streak here, knocking on wood here. He got Looks that like one he got, too. Got it again. Oh, oh. Josh got it, picked it up, got messed up, still messed up. Got to mm -hmm. get this. Oh, push. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like that'll be Egan's Egan's ball. Yeah, Dalton Lutz with the last Burnsville goal, his second of the game, number 19. Colby Sorensen with the ball. He's going to look to attack from, from up top. Dodges. Not seeing what he wants. Oh, he did get a goal. One. Yeah, nice shot by Colby. Just created enough separation to get the shot off, so now it's uh, four to nine. Is that Colby's second? I'm not sure. I, geez, I can't remember if he scored earlier. I, I don't think so. We had two from the lefty at attack. Yep. yep. And then who had that third one? I should be writing these down. I'll, I'll uh, work on that for next game. So hopefully, like I said, uh, uh, four ten. Four ten is the the score right now. Egan down by six. Riley Paulus controls the faceoff. Uh, he's having Got some it. trouble scooping he's it. it now. One minute remaining in the third quarter. One minute. Only a minute left to go in the third quarter. Yep. Oops. Lost oh, the ball again. Yeah. Carson Willery making his debut, number two. One minute, nine seconds remaining. And oh, another goal. On fire. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like that last goal was uh, number eight, Pierce Conrath, from number two, uh, Henry O'Brien. 
And again, we're, we're calling the same names, uh, 19 Dalton Lutz, uh, 15 Jack Hallstrom, 8 Pierce Conrath, and number 2 um, Henry O'Brien. So again, it, it, it's, um, you know, you're, you're kind of seeing kind of what, um, kind of the, the, the four guys kind of work, working together and, you know, each, each of them kind of contributing a few goals, but that seems to be the bigger difference in the game with Burnsville with 11 and, and uh, the Wildcats with four. They get every ground ball. Every yeah, yeah, like we said, sometimes there's a part of lacrosse that's just about, you know, wanting wanting the ground balls um, yep. more than the other, other opponent. We are seeing some, you know, like I said, some. You know, I saw like number forty-nine, Eric Eric Walls are in playing playing D. He's a he's a uh, senior senior D pole. That's well, it for Q three. Looks like the quarter's over. So yeah, four to eleven. It's it's a definitely a lot to ask. Um, definitely a lot to uh, ask to come back, but. Again, after uh, having not had a season in 2020, it is great to just see Egan Lacrosse kind of back and fans in the stands and, and kids part participating. So, and, and to see this beautiful stadium, um, I, I still can't believe, that, like I said, this is my first visit here to see the turf. And, you know, between, I believe we were, District 196 was about the last schools to get turf, yep. but, but um, they, they've done a really nice job, and I believe we're going to get turf at. Uh, Rosemont too, and that grass field was in rough, rough shape. I, I remember in 2019 in our last lacrosse season, it was like playing on cement. So it, it's uh, great that they have the facilities and then Eastview and uh, Apple Valley uh, next year. So again, I think at this point, you know, four to 11, it's, it's a lot to ask to uh, come back, but what you wanna do is actually just kind of win the quarter and kind of set the tone for next time and really just kind of have the offensive possessions where you're getting quality shots that you know they go in or they go out but you know just to uh to kind of lose it or pass out of bounds that that's the kind of the mental mistakes that you're going to want to um kind of cut cut down on uh again it's a relatively young team relatively you know um you know but but again we have some key guys and and it's about getting getting uh them with the right op opportunities and again let's just try to finish this one strong and then uh, kind of get ready for Eden Prairie on, on Wednesday, and I believe it's uh, Farmington on Friday, so bu busy week for the for the Wildcats. So kind of see. So I see Max Corona, 28. Going out. In the first quarter, the Wildcats will defend the North Bird in front of the Store Bird. They'll move left to right. Burnsville in the fourth quarter will defend the South Bowl, moving right to left. So I see number five, AJ King, at attack. Yep. Number he's 11, Tyler Searing, at attack. And I can't see no, the left kid. Looks like number 44. 44, Zach. Zach Walruff yep. at attack. Yep. Um, so I think he, you know, I we see number number twenty three, Nick Cannon. Number forty two is Pat Ryman. Number three is Colby Sorensen. All still down there on the ground somewhere, and they're not going to get it. And Egan's going to get possession. So let's see if they can do something with it. Yeah, it looks like looks like they're you know again with um, the score being four eleven, it's it's really just about getting some additional experience and getting some people to uh, to make their their varsity deb debuts. So it looks like Coach Felcher's gotten gotten most of the players or maybe all of the healthy players uh, in, in the game at some point. So I see forty nine. Eric Walls are at D. Keenan Wilson and Max Corona. Oh, nice little spin there. Wish. <laughs> 
Vic yeah. glanced that off his right shoulder. Jack Hallstrom, number 15 again. You know, with Burnsville only having 20 on the roster, pretty much all of them are going to play. But, um, yeah, the, the key guys are, are, are there taking some pretty big roles and playing big minutes. We'll see what Jack Hallstrom, number 15, does. Good defense there. That was uh, 23, Nick Cannon. Stopping one of the key guys from Burnsville. Oh, nice pass down low. Nice feed there. Oh, it's down. We got it, I think. <laughs> nope. So there must be a penalty loose push on Egan again, I'm guessing. Yeah, just a yeah, loose ball push, so Burnsville will maintain possession. Ooh, a rep from way up high. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to hurt you as long as you have an attack back there to maintain possession. But yeah. well, They've gotten – their shots are 5-1 to one now. Looks like we might have the ball here. Vic's got it. Yeah. He's got it up to Waltzer. Yep. Waltzer clears it. Got to Sam Simon. Simon. Simon says, I'm going to get a, <laughs> get a I'm going to give it to Colby. Colby Sorensen looking for the right opportunity. Goes to number five, A.J. King. To number um, 44, Zach Walroff. Oh, he's tried to muscle his way in there. Yeah, Sam Simon trying to get Ooh, in there. Got oh, he got a goal. Got Freshman Sam Simon. Nice shot, high to low. Yeah. You gotta love the turf. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be, you know, Burnsville's, Burnsville's goalie is fantastic and, and uh, is having a nice game, but the one way to beat him is that big bounce into the upper corner. It seems to be the uh, uh, one area in, in which you can uh, potentially score. Looks like Pat Ryman in to uh, take the face off. Matt Hansen, number 16, and uh, 24, Austin Clark as the LSM. Another possession. Face off win. Oh, he threw it right to the other guy. Yeah. The intention was good. Got to get it. Get it. There's Luis, number 17, Luis Torres. Whoops. Oh. Whoops. Pass to get Tyler it, Searing. Dodge. Okay, pass to number 16, Matt Hansen. Season goes on. We'll get these numbers memorized. Uh, Colby Sorensen, number three. Whoops. Oh. Get it, get it, get it. All 17, right. 17, Luis Torres. Only got about eight minutes to go here, so you need to score pretty much every minute. <laughs> 5 to 11 here. Colby's on the doorstep. <laughs> yeah, number 11, Tyler Searing with the shot. Here comes the outlet. It's gone, and we should be able to get this thing, maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, we do uh, have Egan's possession. Ball. Yep, number 11, Tyler Searing. 44, Zach Walra. Yep. Number 5, AJ King, applying pressure. Number 30, Josh Chapuentes. Again, 7 minutes, 45 seconds. Egan 5, Burnsville 11. Good stop by Vic. <laughs> yeah. Shot to the blaze by Jack Holmstrom, number 15. Eric Walzer. 
Yep, they go. Defense. Gaby Waltz here is fighting hard over there. And let's yeah. see. Nope, they're going to give the possession to. Uh, oh, nice. Nice stick work there. Oh, oh. that's a trip. That's a trip. That's it. That has to be our ball. <laughs> that has to be our ball. Oh, no. Oh, there was a big old stick chop. <laughs> Looks like we'll get a man up. Get to see the man up offense. And they might make a wholesale change here just to. Yeah, it looks like um, back to our, our usual man up offense here. Got one minute here to run our man up offense. Be a good opportunity to work on this. Kind of moving. Oh, oh and it's going to be a turnover. <laughs> yeah. Good hustle on on uh, part of Burnsville. Yeah, Patrick. We've had a lot of those passes come way high. Yeah, you just really on the man up. You just cannot have turnovers like that. It it just just less than ideal. Looks like number two, Henry O'Brien. Yeah, 15. Vic, nice I think. save. Yeah, Jack Hallstrom taking the shot. Ah, the pass is going to be. There we go. They kind of have it, but they're going to get it. Another grounder. Yeah. Well, we might get this one there. Ah. Uh, there we go. Walrath's trying to get it. Still trying to get it. I think he's got it. He does have it. Now Burnsville's uh, goaltender has it. Hard to call the action. It's <laughs> just a lot of ground balls back and back and forth. But uh, Burns Burnsville has it at, at at this point. Just under five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Yeah, number nineteen, Dalton Lutz. And number seven, Max Rippentrop. Oh, that good defense. Nice. Good defense. Possible fast break if we hurry. So, yeah, Nick Cannon there to uh, Zach Walruff. Uh, right into the goalie's basket again. <laughs> they got to show it and then throw it. Yep. Tyler Searing trying to get the ball. Down under four minutes here. Yeah, Egan five and Burnsville eleven. Yeah, it looks like Burnsville's just kind of content to just kind of uh, take take their time and um, not really force things. Did force that pass there. Maintain possession. Another ground ball. Yeah. Yeah, looks like number two, Henry O'Brien, came up with that ground ball for Burnsville. Number 
number 15, Jack Hallstrom. With the dodge and the shot. Oh, a little, a little wide, wide left. Wide. Looks like 15, Jack Alstrom again. Number two, Henry O'Brien. Looks like he's going to want to make the dodge in the in the shot here. About two two minutes and 20 seconds left. Nice stop by Vic. Yeah, nice save there. He really didn't give him much. Looks like Victor's doing some dodging. Up to Colby Sorensen. Number five, AJ King. About minute 47, penalty on Burnsville. Looks like Josh Fuentes in. Oh, they got uh, it's Keenan Wilson with the short Keenan stick. with a short pull, yep. Yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> He's going to go left side here, and they're going to feed him. All right, let's see what we have here. I'm guessing right here Tyra's he's going to run ring. over somebody. Nope, not there. Fuentes, Tyler Searing, Keenan. So it looks like Burnsville um, has control of it. Uh, l less than a minute to, to go. Again, Egan Wildcats 5, the Burnsville 11. So I think Burnsville's just content to to um, run out the clock here. Nope. nope, can't blame him for that. Yep, up six. Although you never know, he's number 15. He's he's a uh, really good. Maybe he'll want to want to get another goal. Jack Hallstrom. He's looking for it. There's a shot. <laughs> yep. Oh, wide right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. 19 seconds left. Vic was on he, that He one. always creates the separation. He's putting a lot of shots wide, but a uh, very talented, aggressive lacrosse player. So, yeah, give Burnsville credit here. You know, they you know they uh, were able to get the ground balls that, that they needed to. They were able to, you know, kind of get the get the goals. And, and again, uh, with Egan 5 and Burnsville 11, hopefully this will be a good learning experience for, for the team as we move on to the next game. Uh, we're away for the next two, so away game uh, on uh, against against Eden Prairie. Eden Prairie. Yep, and then on Friday yeah. it'd be Farmington. Farmington. Eden Prairie might be a tough game. So. I'm sure it will be. So <laughs> over and out. All right, thank you, everyone. About a nice hand for both teams. Eden Wildcats with the lead, Farmington with the lead.